guys, welcome back to my channel, AK Reads. Today we're going to be continuing the book, Geronimo Stilton, A Cheese Coloured Camper. Ratzikistan, here we come. I was flabbergasted. What? We're leaving for Ratzikistan? Why didn't anyone tell me, I shouted. No one squeaked. What could I say? They knew they were wrong. Instead, Thea shoved a chocolate cheesy chew in my mouth. Don't get your tail in a twist, she soothed in a honey-sweet voice. I was still fuming, but I d must admit, I do love those cheesy chews. There's nothing like a yummy piece of chocolate to perk me up. Still, I wasn't giving in so easy. I was tired of being overlooked. I will not be ignored, I spluttered with my mouth full. Trap rolled his eyes. You're such a drama queen, Germster, he chuckled. He glanced at his watch. Better shake a paw because you have exactly 17 and a half minutes to pull yourself together, pack your suitcases and put on the alarm system before we're off. He added. Then he peeked. Then he pinched my cheek, causing the cheesy chew to go down the wrong pipe. Ah, ah, I gagged. Grandfather clapped a paw on my back. The candy flew across the room. My dear grandson, quit complaining. We'll n we'd never ignore you. Now stop dilly-dallying and close your suitcases. I gnashed my teeth together. I took a very deep breath breath. That, then I explained in a very small voice why I couldn't close my suitcase. I didn't have any. Even better, Grandfather William concluded. You can leave without them. Then you can leave without them. Let's go call a taxi. By now, I was beyond mad. I was ready Jing, like a angry ball of fur. I dug my paws into the carpet. I am not leaving and you can't make me. I squeaked. Yes, I sounded just like a five-year-old mouse, but I didn't care. Grandfather William stared at me for a moment. Then he told everyone to leave the room. I need to be alone with my dear grandson, he explained. As soon as they... Left, Grandfather slumped against me. Then he limped over to my chair. Since where did he have to limp? I wondered. Ah, oh, Grandson, getting old is such a horrible thing. You're so lucky to be young and strong, he said in a feeble voice. I blinked. I had never thought about Grandfather being so old before. He was so loud and tough and were obnoxious. Are you okay, Grandad? I asked, feeling guilty. He shook his head. I'm not feeling well. I have a pain right here, right near my heart, he, he said, pointing at his breast pocket. I raised my eyebrows. But Grandfather, that's your wallet, I pointed out. He shrugged. Ah, oh, yes, my heart, my wallet, the same thing. I wasn't surprised. Grandfather loves money more than cheese. He's the cheapest mouse I know. He once shaved off all his fur to save on money on shampoo and conditioner. That's why they call him Cheap Mouse Willie. Now he stroked his fur. Looking sad. It kills me to see our family arguing, he mumbled. I'm so hot you don't want to come with us. He sighed, then his eyes filled with tears. I didn't know what to say. I didn't want to leave, but I'd never seen my grandfather so broken up. Say you're coming with us, dear grandson, he cried, grabbing my paw. Please say yes. Do it for me. I've given you so much, and now I ask for little. By now he's sobbing away full force. I'd never seen so many tears come out of one rodent before. He would have come in handy when my Aunt Sweet Fur's mouse hole went up in flames. 
At last, I couldn't stand his sobs any longer. Okay, okay, I'll come, I muttered. At that m- very moment, the unthinkable happened. Grandfather William leaped back to his feet. It was a miracle. It was as if he was suddenly 30 years younger. Well, then, let's hit the road, he shrieked. The taxi's here. He flung open the office door. Thea, Trap, and Benjamin fell on top of one another. Their ears had been pressed to the door. Wait, Grandfather, I called, but he was already halfway down the hall. Move your tail, you spineless fool, he shouted back at me. Let's hit the road. Grandfather Super Camper I couldn't believe it. My own grandfather had set me up. I thought he was really sick. Even worse, I thought he was heart sick. Now I knew he was just nuts. Nuts enough to put a low down prank on me. Grotten's rat's breath. I was in a sour mood. Anyone who knows me knows that I hate travelling. My grandfather, on the other hand, was bursting with excitement. Isn't travelling great? He squeaked happily. In my next life, I think I'll be an explorer. I'll soar above the clouds in my own private jet, sail the sea, high seas in my yacht, and of course, I'll hit the road in my fabulous cheese-coloured camper. Let's go! I sighed. Grandfather wasn't dreaming about the camper. He really does have a cheese-coloured camper. He puts putters along the fast lane at 20 miles per hour. Annoying all the other drivers, they flash their headlights at him and honk their horns. But that's no budging granddad. He's like a snail on a superhighway. Actually, Grandfather doesn't drive a camper. He drives a super camper. It's longer than 50 miles tail to tail. It's painted a deep cheddar yellow. And it's filled with everything you can imagine. The driver's cabin has a satellite navigational system and lets you pinpoint your position anywhere around the world. An enormous crystal chandelier hangs up in the camper's dining room. This is where Grandfather likes to eat Tina's five course gourmet meals. Grandfather's bedroom has a four poster bed and its own marble bathroom. There's even a yellow jacuzzi shaped like a slice of cheese. Besides that, There's even a couple of guest rooms and an elegant library filled with old books and a room just for luggage. The place is bigger than my entire mouse hole. And I didn't even tell you about the kitchen. It's a cook's dream. It has a real stove oven, a computerized giant refrigerator, It tells you when supplies are getting low. Tina loves it, of course. She travels with Grandfather wherever he goes. Yep, Tina and her silver extendable rolling pin. She never leaves home without it. It was a gift from Grandad. At night, she keeps the rolling pin within Paul's reach for protection. One night she accidentally knocked Grandfather William over the head with it. She thought he was a rat burglar. Still, Tina does a lot more than cook. In fact, she's one multi-talented rodent. She can give an injection and fix a flat tire without even twitching a whisker. And even more important, 
Tina keeps grandfather in line. She's the only rodent I know who's not afraid of him. As I said, she's one tough mouse. King of the road. That's it for this part of Geronimo Stilton, a cheese-coloured camper. I'll see you next time. Bye!